Welcome back to Think Thrice Problem Solving. Today we're going to be solving a fun little MIT Integration B problem. So this is from the uh, annual MIT Integration B. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, you can pause the video if you want to give it a shot. Otherwise, we're going to jump straight into a solution. Um, so the first thing we're going to notice is that we have this x to the 10 minus 1 up here. We have x to the 10th squared, and then we have x to the 10th on the bottom. It's got 10 to the 20th outside. That's just a constant. We're going to kind of treat that as uh, its own little thing for now. And we're going to focus on the integrand. Um, so we're going to make uh, use of this. And obviously, uh, that x to the 10th kind of jumps out. So we're going to use that uh, u substitution. So we're going to make u equal to x to the 10th. So that makes our integral. We're going to get 10 to the 20th integral from 2 to infinity. Uh, du is going to be... 10x to the ninth uh, dx. So we're going to be able to do a substitution. So we're going to plug this guy in here. So this is going to be um, du divided by 10 on the top. And on the bottom, we're going to get x to the 10th squared. Or sorry, that's u now. So we're going to get u squared minus 48u plus 575. Okay, um, and then the last thing we need to do for this substitution, we know that this is no longer going to be 2 because now we're doing x to the 10th. So this is actually going to now be 2 to the 10th in there on a bounce. Okay, so we have a new integral here. Um, let's go ahead and take this 10 that we just introduced, so this 10 over here, and let's move it out to the outside. And what that's going to do is that's going to make this now 10 to the 19th, so 20 minus 1, the integral from 2 to the 10th to infinity of du over u squared minus 48u plus 575. So now the question is, what can we do with this? Is there any way we can make this a little nicer? So it'd be really great if we could factor this or do something uh, with the bottom. Um, and it might not jump straight out at us, but we notice that often we like to look for squares. So if I have 48 here, I can almost get, so let's complete the square here. So if I have u squared minus 48u plus what, we'll get there. So if I want to make this u minus 24 squared, then what would be left over? So 24 squared is 576. So this should be a 576. We notice we almost have that. So we have it there if we subtract a 1 on the outside. Okay, so what we can do with our integral here is I can rewrite this as 10 to the 19th integral from 2 to the 10th to infinity. And now let's rewrite the inside as du over, and then we're going to put u minus 24 squared minus 1. Okay, um, so now let's go ahead and do one more substitution. So before I do the substitution, let's look at 2 to the 10th. So what's 2 to the 10th? That's 248, 16, 32 squared. So that's going to be um, 1024. So what we have here now is we have 10 to the 19th, and then let's make A, um, well, actually, let's make it V. So let's make V equal to U minus 24. So DV is just equal to DU. And now since we're doing U minus 24, our new integral, after we do our substitution, we're going to have the integral. We're going to have starting at 1,000 instead of 1,024, and we're going to go to infinity again. And on the inside, we're still going to have similar, but we're going to have dv over v squared minus 1. Okay, so this is something that we can probably deal with. This is very easy to factor. So if we look at the bottom now, if we use partial fraction decomposition, we can see that v squared minus 1 is equal to v minus 1 times v plus 1. So let's try to figure this out. So 
I want to know what 1 over v squared minus 1, so that's going to be equal to something over v minus 1 plus something else over v plus 1. So uh, let's go ahead and figure this out. So a times v plus 1. So we have 1, so on the v's at least. So if we look at the v's first, well, okay, sorry. I'm just going to go ahead and multiply this out. So um, we're going to have 1 is equal to a v plus a plus, and then multiplying these guys, we get b v minus b. So what does that tell us? Let's look at the v's. We have zero on the left, and that's going to be equal to a plus b. And then for the, uh, that's v to the one terms, for the v to the zero terms, we're going to get one is equal to a minus b. Okay, so from this first equation, we see that a is negative b, uh, or vice versa. So if b is negative a then, so we're going to have one is equal to 2a, so a is equal to 1 half, which would make b equal to negative 1 half. Okay, so now that we've done the partial fraction decomposition here, let's go back to our integral. And let's factor out this, well, let's write it out. So we're going to have 10 to the 19th times the integral from 1,000 to infinity of now a, so we're going to have 1 half over v minus 1 plus, sorry, minus 1 half over v plus 1. So that's the a and the b just plugged in, dv. And at this point, we can go ahead and pull that 1 half out. So now we're going to have 10 to the 19 divided by 2. And that's going to be multiplied by um, the integral from 1,000 to infinity of 1 over v minus 1 minus 1 over v plus 1 dv. All right, so finally, something that's easy to integrate here. So let's go ahead and do this. So we're going to get 10 to the 19 over 2, and that's going to be times the natural log of v minus 1 minus the natural log of v plus 1 evaluated from 1,000 to infinity. We'll use a log rule to kind of clean this up. So we notice we have one log minus another log. So we combine the terms inside. So we're going to now get 10 to the 19 over 2. And that's going to be times the natural log of v minus 1 divided by v plus 1 evaluated from 1,000 to infinity. And then just to make this a little easier for us to, um, well, okay, so uh, let's look at this now. So we have uh, 10 to the 19 over 2, and then we're going to have the limit as n approaches, or sorry, as v approaches infinity of the natural log of v minus 1 over v plus 1 minus the natural log of 1,000 minus 1 over 1,000 plus 1. Okay? And now we're almost at our solution here. So the last thing we have to kind of notice is what is the limit here? So if we look at the term inside, it's the natural log. If we take the top and bottom and divide them by v, then we're going to get 1 minus 1 over v over 1 plus 1 over v. Uh, some of you don't need to do this, you can kind of see it, but when we do that, we can see that as v approaches infinity, this guy approaches 0, this guy approaches 0, so the inside term just approaches 1, and the ln of 1 is 0. So this term goes to 0, so we're just left with the other term. So we're going to be left with 10 to the 19 over 2, times negative ln of uh, 999 over 1001. And since we're subtracting that, we can move that to the inside, and we can end up getting 
10 to the 19 over 2 times the natural log of 1001 over 999. And that is going to be our final answer. So I hope you enjoyed working through that with me. If you did, uh, please like and subscribe. If you have your own video idea ideas, please submit them to thinkthriceproblemsolving at gmail.com. And as you're working on problems on your own, think once, think twice. And if you really get stuck, think thrice. Thanks.